The remove from home button is still missing on Gran Turismo Sport and I'm still not able to re-download the game, but we have a solution. And just in case you have no idea what I'm talking about, a very quick recap from my last video. If you're using an external drive for all your PlayStation 4 games and suddenly something is happening to this drive and you like to re-download yeah, some of your PlayStation 4 games, then in certain situations you have a problem and in my case it's Gran Turismo. So even the hard drive SSD is not connected to the PlayStation 5 or it's faulty or whatever, the PlayStation 5 still syncs this game is installed. So every PlayStation 4 game was what was ever installed on the PlayStation 5 will remain as installed. Okay, so, but as you can see, I can't play it anymore because my external drive is gone. Okay, so to re-download this, you like to get the download button back. And usually you can do this with, yeah, when you remove a game from home. So in case of Uncharted, the same story, I can't play it, but when I do remove from home and we wait a little bit, then my download button is back, okay? So now I can re-download it, everything is fine. In the case of Gran Turismo Sport, this is not working because we have two items in. So as soon you have a game where you have two items in the title, you can't use remove from home. And if you're very unlucky and this game is not in your, your home screen anymore, like here at the moment, Gran Turismo, and you can't remove it from here because just remember, when you haven't played a game for a very long time, it is just gone. So if you can't do this here, then you have really a big problem. And I thought there is no solution at all, but I was wrong. And thanks to user Mephi93, she or he found the solution and of course I'm going to share this with you. So let's jump into the internal storage on my PlayStation 5, into games and apps and as you can see there are just PlayStation 5 games installed. I have also connected our external drive with all, with, not with all of them, but with some of my PlayStation 4 games including Gran Turismo Sport. Okay, so what we're doing now is we're going to safely remove this from the PlayStation 5 and we're going back into my collection. Okay, so as you can see Gran Turismo Sport, PlayStation 5 still thinks it's installed. Even I would physically disconnect it now, this will not change. Okay, so but I can't played at this very moment and again there is no way that I can remove it from home because even now the title is not on the home screen anymore. So what you have to do and it is actually quite simple and I yeah I was not aware of this but anyway let's have a look here. My external storage is now disconnected and suddenly on the internal storage from the PlayStation 5, we have a lot of PlayStation 4 tiles here, including somewhere my Gran Turismo Sport, 8.13 megabyte. This is not a safe game, okay? This is not a safe game. This is just the information from the external drive, what was installed on the drive, okay? So all what we have to do now is we are going to delete this one and we're going back into my collection. Where are we? Here we are. And now, as you can see, there is my download button. So I thought back then when I made the video that this is a bug and there's no way that you actually can yeah, re-download the game, but it's not a bug. It's just a feature. Okay, so in the end there is a solution, but in my opinion far away from being user friendly and I hope that in a future update we will actually see yeah, a couple of updates, feature upgrades on the whole storage solution because I'm, yeah again, I'm not a big fan from the solution or the storage situation on the PlayStation 5 at all compared to the Xbox. Sorry, but this is crap. To be very honest. Anyway, what I like to see is actually that we can use the remove from home button on games like Gran Turismo where we have two items here and I can understand at this very moment that we can't use it on the 
yeah, main screen because we have two items in, but then at least let me use it here because there's nothing working and this is not a big problem to put the download button or sorry, the remove from home button in this sub menu here, okay? So the easiest solution in my opinion would be as soon we disconnecting our external drive. Don't mark the games at installed in my opinion. It doesn't make sense to me, okay? It doesn't make sense to me why the PlayStation 5 still thinks the games are installed. Just put in the comment section what I'm missing from the, from the idea behind from Sony because hopefully someone thought about this, why this is or why this should be the case. I, I really don't know. I would just tell the PlayStation 5 external hard drive is not installed anymore. The game is also not installed. And hopefully I'm smart enough to remember that I installed the game already and it must be somewhere on an external drive, okay? So this is, in my opinion, the easiest fix. Just don't mark it as installed when I'm removing the hard drive or the SSD, okay? So anyway, um, still not happy here, but again, it's not a bug. I will change my, my uh, thumbnail from the other video a little bit because it's not a bug, it's a feature, but I will keep this video up uh, the other video and this as well because maybe some of you many users may be struggling with this as well and at least we have a solution here so again thank you very much to mephi 93 great tip great solution it works just perfect but sony you have a lot of work to do okay thank you very much for watching me i see you guys next time bye